The worst way to add login to your web app is coding it from scratch. Get it wrong and you risk security flaws like plain text passwords, unlimited login attempts, or weak password enforcement, potentially leading to a data breach that destroys trust in your web app. Authentication is too critical to take unnecessary risks. Instead of reinventing the wheel, let a trusted service handle login so you can focus on building core features. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate a secure certified login in service the right way. When I built my YouTube thumbnail comparison tool, I knew users needed to log in. Otherwise, they couldn't save or retrieve their thumbnails. But authentication means more than simply logging in. There's the sign-in form for submitting user credentials, checking login status to show the right content, and authenticating API calls so users can only access their own data. Each of these needs careful consideration to prevent security vulnerabilities. That's where external authentication providers like OAuth, Firebase, and AWS Cognito come in. They act as the glue between your web app and a user's identity, handling authentication securely. So let's dive into how I set up login for my web app and how you can do the same for your own project. My thumbnail tool has a database to save user details, APIs to fetch those details, and remote storage for all the thumbnail images. So when it came to adding login, I needed it to work seamlessly with all these services. Since my infrastructure was already running in AWS, AWS Cognito was the obvious choice. To help you decide if it's the right option for you, let's walk through how to integrate Cognito into a simple web app. Whenever a user interacts with your web app front end to create a new user account or log in with an existing account, your web app needs to interact with Cognito to store that user or to sign that user in. Cognito is a service that runs in the background within AWS, which means when you go to the AWS console, you can view it like any other service. To get started with Cognito, you need to create what's called a user pool. You can think of it like a database where users will be stored automatically. Once you create a user pool like this one for my web app, you'll importantly get a user pool ID that we'll use later. From this page, you can access user management. For example, I can see all these test users in my development account. Now that we've set up the Cognito background service, how can your web app front end interact with that to sign in users? That's where this framework called AWS Amplify comes in. Amplify provides all the code and front-end widgets you need to set up everything related to sign-in. The neat thing is that Amplify works with any of these JavaScript frameworks. In my case, I'm using Vue and can add Amplify with this simple command. In the code base for my thumbnail tool, Amplify relies on some configuration. Importantly, you have to set the user pool ID, the one we copied earlier. Now that Amplify is configured, we can easily create a sign-in form like this, which will also handle creating new users. My web app has this component where I rely on this authenticator provided by the Amplify library. If I go to that component, Amplify automatically shows this sign-in screen with a create account option. And depending on how you configure your Cognito user pool, you can either sign in with email and password or even with an external provider like Google. Now that I'm logged in, this app is behaving differently. The way this works is Amplify provides you with this get current user function which I'm calling right here to set this Boolean value. And then I can show and hide different content based on whether it's true or false. That could, for example, be showing a drop down like this in the nav bar for signed in users and a simple sign in button if the user isn't signed in. Now that we can check the signed in status on the front end, what about fetching data from the back end? Well, we might want to validate the user is who they say they are before returning sensitive information. Well, whenever I return any of these thumbnail boards, I'm calling a back end API. These are the API details in the AWS API Gateway console. And like I mentioned earlier, this integrates seamlessly with Cognito because you can configure authorization by just providing your Cognito URL. In the front end, just remember whenever you call your API to also provide the authorization header. With all that set up, you can trust that when your API code runs, the user's already been authenticated and you can even access details like the user ID which I use to return this thumbnail data. 
Integrating an authentication service into your web app does take some effort. Instead of setting everything up from scratch every time, I now use this pre-configured bootstrap project with AWS Cognito ready to go. Check out the link in the description to use the exact system I built. The best part of using an external login service is the confidence of knowing you're following security best practices. User data stays private and your authentication scales as your web app grows to hundreds of users. So don't let login delay starting your project. With the right approach, it's easier than you think. See you in the next one.